Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials. Oh, Mary, come in, please. I'm so happy to see you. Happy birthday, George. Many happy returns of the day. Here's a present for you. Oh, thank you, Mary. You're so nice. I hope you like it. Oh, have the other guys arrived? They're all waiting for you. Let's join them. I'm going to cut the cake soon. Let's go. Hey Lydia, what are you reading? I'm looking at my horoscope for this month. My outlook is very positive. It says that I should take a vacation to some place exotic, and that I will have a passionate summer fling. What are you talking about? Let me see that what are horoscopes. It's a prediction of your month, based on your zodiac sign. You have a different sign for the month and date you were born in. I was born on April 15th, so I'm an Aries. When were you born? January 5th. Let's see your a Capricorn. It says that you will be feeling stress at work, but you could see new, exciting developments in your love life. Looks like we'll both have interesting summers. That's bogus. I don't feel any stress at work, and my love life is practically non-existent. This Zodiac stuff is all a bunch of nonsense. No, it's not. Your astrology sign can tell you a lot about your personality. See? It says that an Aries is energetic and loves to socialize. Well, you certainly match those criteria but they're so broad they could apply to anyone. What does it say about me? A Capricorn is serious-minded and practical. She likes to do things in conventional ways. That sounds just like you. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, John. I want to have a few friends over for a dinner party to celebrate my birthday. Would you be able to come the next weekend on Saturday? I'd be delighted to, John. Saturday did you say? Yes, if that's all right for you. I'm pretty sure I'll be all right. In fact, I'd be delighted to come over and celebrate your birthday with you. What time are you planning to start? Oh. Good. If you could come around 6.30 or 7 o'clock, that would give us some time to chat a wit over a glass of wine before dinner. That sounds fine. I'll be there around 7. Did you listen to the weather forecast? No. Why? There's a typhoon coming. No way. Yep, it should be here by tomorrow night. What do you do for a living? I'm a doctor. Really? Do you like it? Yes, I do. It's very interesting. What's your job? I'm a bus driver. Oh, do you enjoy it? No, I don't really like it. It's boring. Would you care to join for the picnic tomorrow? Much to my regret. I'll have to meet my girlfriend at the airport then. We'd like to invite you for our dress party tomorrow evening. Are you free? Much as we'd like to, but we've booked up already for that time. What a pity. You can't join us. So sorry. Next time we'll go. Thanks anyway. Merry Christmas, Mr. Wong. 
I would like to give you the book I specially chose as my appreciation for your sincere help to me in the past few days. Thanks, Mr. White. That's very kind of you. I hope it will be of some use to you. I am sure it will. It'll be of great help in carrying on the work I have done so far. That will be great. Are you free this Saturday evening? Oh, it seems there is nothing that evening. Would you like to go to the concert with me? I'd like to. Where? At our club. When? At 7.30 p.m. I'll go in time. Thank you. I'm so pleased that you can go. Fairly warm this morning, isn't it? You're right. The air is so warm and everything looks so fresh and green. Say, how about a walk along the river? Marvelous idea? David, do you think which team will get the champion tonight? It is hard to guess now. Both of the teams chose the excellent players this time. I guess the game will end in a tie. They are equally matched. I am so nervous now. What a terrific game. Which side are you on? It's hard to say, because each team has my idols. Wow. AC wins. It is a close shave, you know. I will never forget this match. The angle is so terrible and so correct. What a good goal. Do you know them? No, but those guys like to hit on me. I've never met anyone like Clyde before. He's such a buppy a black yuppie. Black people come in all shapes and sizes. Just check out the party. Wow. There are so many different people here. I expected mostly athletes and rappers. You'll find some of those here, too. But not if you don't shake it up. There's an African saying, if you can talk, you can sing. If you can walk, you can dance. Then I'll just shut up and sit down. Hey George, how is your chicken? My chicken tastes all right, but it is pretty dry. How is your fish? My fish is pretty dry too. It's almost as if this food has been sitting a little too long. It doesn't seem fresh. Yes, it seems that way to me also. How are your vegetables? My vegetables are very soggy. Mine are the same way. It seems like they've been overcooked. I don't usually complain, but I think that we should mention this to the waiter. I agree. Maybe they can bring us some better food. Hi, Amy. You look very happy. Yes, I'm very pleased. I've just got two tickets to see the Olympic opening ceremony. Wow. You must be very excited. I certainly am. I would have been very disappointed if I hadn't got them. Shall we go to a restaurant to celebrate? What a good idea. I'm quite hungry. Me too. I feel very thirsty as well. Let's go then. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.